Well, let's take a look at some of these different features. First of all, let's take a look at one interesting feature. It's a river. This is a good picture of a river. Rivers can be oh, very wide, right? Especially the Mississippi River in America is really wide. Mississippi. Can you say that quickly? Mississippi. The Mississippi River is very wide. Sometimes rivers are smaller, uh, narrower, but they all have one thing in common, and that is the water in a river is moving. If the water is not moving, it's a lake. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But a river is a long moving piece of water. So the key word here is moving. If the water is moving, it is a river. If it's not moving, it's not a river, it's something else. So a river is a long piece of water that is moving, moving along. Sometimes it's very fast and it's dangerous. You got to be careful. But sometimes it's slowly moving along. And it's very beautiful, very scenic. Okay. As I said before, if the water in a lake, uh, uh, the water in a river, especially a wide river, is not moving, then we call it a lake, right? A lake is a large area of water. A lake is smaller than an ocean. This is a small lake. Looks like it's in the mountains. Very beautiful, picturesque uh, lake. And of course, this water will probably be very clear and good to drink probably too. It's high up in the mountains, right? It's a nice little lake. This is a small lake. Sometimes lakes are really big, so big you can't see across them. But lakes are a large area of water. And another important feature about lakes, lakes have fresh, fresh water, okay? So you can drink it, okay? So lakes have fresh water. Okay, let's move on to the next feature. The next feature we're talking about is mountain. We saw a mountain just, uh, just before. We saw the lake in the mountains, right? But we could also uh, just look at the mountains as a feature of land. A mountain, what is a mountain? A mountain is the highest kind of land. If you think about that, where is the highest place on earth? If you guess Mount and MT stands for mountain, Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the highest place on land. It's in the Himalayas between China and India, right? In the Himalayan mountains, okay? A mountain is the highest kind of land. A mountain is very steep. Steep is a good word. Steep means it has a, a very strong angle going up like this. If you look at the mountains, they're very steep. That means it's very hard to climb them, right? Sometimes you have to climb them like this. You have to climb the mountains because they're very steep. The angle, their sides are very, uh, they go up very quickly. They are steep mountains. Okay. Another uh, feature of the land is a plain. Now we can see plains in many areas. What are some features of the plains? Well, of course, one feature is that it's flat, right? And well, that's what we have here. A plain is a flat land. It's a flat area of land, a very flat piece of land. There are not many trees on a plain. We talked about forest before, right? But on a plain, you don't have many trees. If you have many trees, that's a different feature. That's a forest, right? That's a different type of habitat for animals. But a plain is a large flat piece of land with no trees. In the middle of America, the Great Plains, many buffalo used to roam on the plains, very wide open. You can see for a very far distance. And a long time ago, you could see great huge herds of animals on these plains. And in Africa too, when you go to the plains, you can see many animals roaming around on the plains. But the two features, flat, not many trees, and usually you have a lot of grass that the animals can eat. That's a plain. Also we have hill, or a hill, or hills, right? A hill is a, a high area of land, but it's not a mountain, right? Hills are small, right? Mountains are very large. So a hill is a higher area of land. If you have a plain, that's very flat, but sometimes the land will come up like this. And sometimes we call gentle, gentle rolling hills. That's a very nice uh, feature of land. Gentle rolling 
hills. That's where the land is just very gentle, going up and down, like the wave on an ocean. But of course, these waves don't move, right? Because they're hills, they don't move, they stay like this. And these hills are just a higher piece of land above the plains or above the flat land. A hill is a higher area of land. A hill, of course, is smaller than a mountain, right? If you look at something and say, wow, that's a, that's a mountain, somebody might say, you call that a mountain? That's a hill, right? Because they don't think it's very high, right? It's not that high, so it's a hill, okay? Let's move on. <clears throat> a cliff, now a cliff can be dangerous. Be careful, right? Here it says, a cliff is a high, steep part of the land. We can also say a cliff is a sudden drop or a sudden rise in the land. It depends on where you're coming from. If you're coming from this direction, the cliff is a sudden drop, right? So be careful, right? But if you're coming from this way, then the, the cliff is a sudden rise, a sudden rise in the land. So a cliff can be a sudden drop, a sudden drop or rise rise this way in the land. A sudden drop or rise in the land. And that's what a cliff is. Cliffs can be dangerous, but also cliffs can sometimes be fun. But be careful when you're, uh, when you're with cliffs. We're going to see a little video here. Here's a bunch of uh, young men, boys perhaps, on top of a cliff. What are they doing up there? Are they just looking around? Let's see what they're doing. Oh my gosh! Oh, he's, oh my gosh! Oh, okay. Whew. There's water at the bottom of the cliff. Whew. This is very dangerous, of course. Uh, be careful if you do this. Be ca very careful. Don't jump off cliffs unless you know that there's water underneath and there's enough water that will catch you and you won't hit the bottom when you hit that water, right? This guy's, you know, this guy's very brave, right? But be very careful when you, if you do this type of activity, right? But it's very uh, fun, looks exciting, right? Be very careful. Okay, let's move on. Valleys. Valleys are also a good feature of the land. Very beautiful feature of the land, especially in, in for example, Switzerland or some places in Europe. Here this looks like perhaps the American West or some parts of Asia. Uh, here we have the plains on the top, right? The land is kind of flat. We have some hills in the background, but all of a sudden you have the drop and these are cliffs on the side. And at the bottom, we would say this is a valley. A valley is the lowland between mountains or hills. Well, you could say that these could be mountains, I guess. It's kind of like a plain going along here, and then suddenly we have cliffs, and then a, uh, the valley is at the bottom. The valley is the lowland at the bottom of the, uh, of the cliffs. And valleys, of course, are, we find them typically, of course, in mountains, you know, between one mountain and another mountain, also between hills. Some valleys can be very beautiful, right? You have lots of trees, you usually have a river running through the valley because the river is what created the valley. The water cut through, and that's not very obvious in this picture, the water actually cut through the ground and made this valley. So that's a very interesting uh, feature of the land. Okay, another feature of the land is a stream. Now we've already talked about rivers, right? Rivers are very big, they're very wide, but streams are very narrow. You could probably step across a stream, right? You could probably step from one side to the other. But some streams are a little bit wider, you can't step across. But a, a small river is, we call those streams. Now streams and rivers usually come from the mountains, right? So in the mountains, of course, there's water high up on the, on the mountains, the water has to come down from the mountains. So if there's a lot of water, a river comes down. But if there's only a little bit of water, then a stream will come down. So streams usually come from mountains, and also rivers usually come from mountains. Lesson 7. Land and Water. River. A river is a long, moving piece of water. Lake A lake is a large area of water. A lake is smaller than an ocean. Mountain A mountain is the highest kind of land. A mountain is very steep. Plain 
A plain is a flat land. There are not many trees on a plain. Hill. A hill is a high area of land. A hill is smaller than a mountain. Cliff. A cliff is a high, steep part of the land. Valley. The low land between mountains or hills. Stream. A small river. Streams usually come from mountains.